This is the third and uh, final part of the Orthopedic Trauma Association Core Curriculum uh, Resident Lecture Series Version 3 on Bone Grafts. I'm Saka Brahman, I'm narrating, and uh, the uh, original authors are uh, Drs. Krieg and Hawk, and this is their presentation that I'm narrating. And we've talked about um, in, uh, uh, autografts, uh, allografts, bone graft substitutes, uh, how grafts incorporate. And we're going to wrap this up now by talking about indications for bone graft. Um, why we use and we, we mentioned it briefly, but um, we're going to get just a little bit more into it now. So uh, as you may see uh, in, in some of your surgeries that uh, it's used to provide mechanical support, for instance, in the tibial plateau fracture where you have this impaction. Um, treated with ORAF and bone grafting. You may um, uh, notice that uh, these grafts, um, if you use bone graft substitutes, can take some time before they resorb, depending on which type of graft you use. Uh, and here you can see four months after surgery, this graft is incorporating nicely. It can be used to replace bone, for instance, a cortical or segmental defect. So here's a case with uh, patient with an open 3B open tibia fracture, um, antibiotic beads have been used, and um, you know, you're know you gonna have this uh, defect here. And this was treated with um, uh, iliac crest autografting to help uh, this defect to heal. And you can see after 14 months, the fracture is healed, the nails removed. Another reason for bone graft is to stimulate healing if you have a uh, atrophic or oligotrophic non-union. So here's a patient with an atrophic non-union of the clavicle treated with um, plating and iliac crest autografting to help stimulate healing. And six months after surgery, patients healed and asymptomatic. Another uh, indication to stimulate healing is an arthrodesis, so fusion procedures. In this case, it was a failed subtalar arthrodesis that uh, was uh, treated with iliac crest grafting and uh, compressive fixation. So, um, so those are some of the main indications uh, that you should be aware of, and um, I think you'll see these grafts uh, and grafting techniques, especially with bone graft substitutes being used uh, more and more. Um, with autograft, I think technique is very important, as um, I mentioned uh, previously. Um, so that wraps it up. Uh, thank you very much. Again, this was the uh, Orthopedic Trauma Association um, Core Curriculum Resident Lecture Series Version 3 on bone grafts. Thank you.